Tech.com. We're out here on Lake Huron with Spark again. We're going to do some flying. A little bit windy out here today, so don't know what to get into, but I, I want to try lychee today, so uh, we're going to give lychee a shot uh, on this. I want to try this especially because we have, I want to try screen recording, so I'm using the iPhone 5S uh, today for this, and I want to see how screen recording turns out. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start screen recording. Um, screen recording and microphone, screen record only. And then what I'm going to do, I've already checked hover. I'm good to go on hover for uh, flights, so I've got everything set up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch, confirm takeoff, yes. And we've got something going on down there. And so this part of Leachy is working, so we're taking off. And it seems to, uh, on takeoff, have started the video. So it appears video is recording on the copter, too. So that's a good thing. Um, I've got the histogram, and uh, hopefully we're seeing the lychee screen, too. So one of the things I'm going to do is just some kind of flying and experiment with this guy. Um, just to make sure everything's going good with lychee. And how it is. Like a little bit windy out here today. Um, as you can see, the wind's buffeting it a little bit. So we're just going to mess around a little bit, just checking things out, waiting to see how the wind goes. Also, I've got a new kind of wind thing on the uh, front cam, uh, on the hat, head cam. And so I'm just kind of wondering how it's uh, trying to different perspectives with the wind. So uh, now this is seeing low battery already, but uh, I think we'll make it good for this flight. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this out. And I'm just going to keep running it out. Uh, we're, we're only probably about, uh, not too far up, about 1.4 meters. And now I'm going to take it up a little bit more. And I want to yacht back this way. And this thing keeps complaining about battery. I don't think my battery should be that low. And I uh, just want to kind of drift it out there. And. I think we got that buoy's kind of set in the middle. So I'm not too far above the water. I want to make sure I don't run into the buoy. So as we come up, I want to rise up a little bit. And... Uh-oh, we have a ship coming. So we're going to have to gain some altitude here, folks. Real quick, and we're going to have to pull this baby back. Uh, so there we got a ship up bound right there. So it's going to cross in between those buoys out there that we were flying to. So I'm now up about 13.8 meters, so about 30... 30 some feet. I am going to go up a little bit more. I should be well out of its path. But uh, I'll get it up there a little bit more. And what we'll do is we'll just kind of track it around as it goes up the lake and then we'll bring it back. Um, still seem to be really, really good on battery. Everything seems to be holding, got good signal. So far, Leachy's doing well. Yeah, we'll just kind of just kind of center this as we move it around. We'll track the ship up a little bit with yaw, keeping it in center. Beautiful views out here today, guys. Winds died down a little bit right now, so that is really good. Let right, so me make sure I'm capturing everything. Got a little fishing boat out there. Probably can't see it. You probably goes by, you'll get a perspective. These things are gargantuan. 
these are these are basically ore freighters coming down from the UP and that from up in Lake Superior. They come down through the lakes and they, uh, you know, for uh, road gravel. Not so much iron ore anymore, but coal, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of ore they, they bring down. Whoops, I'm sitting here giving you a, a little bit of discussion of ships. You can see now the, the little fishing boat out there passing, you know, with the, the freighters passing it. So, uh, again, great views. Just love capturing freighters on, uh, on video. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. So, again, he's, he's upbound, so he's running empty. So you can see his draft out of the water. He's sitting way high out of the water, typically when they're loaded, which usually when they're coming downbound, they're far, they had draft far, far more into the water. Now, you see he's on the other side of that buoy. And so you can kind of see the buoy out there. So that's their, that's a shipping channel. That's, you know, how they tell in the green and red, port, starboard, and all that kind of stuff. I used to know exactly what all that meant, but I got old and I forgot half of it. So uh, I spent a lot of time out here on the Great Lakes boating and things like that. Just really a beautiful inland waterway area. Wind's kicking up a little bit again. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad here. Again, I'm trying some different schemas with uh, regards to dealing with the wind. And so I am going to, as he's uh, getting out there a little bit, I'm going to pull in a little bit closer. I'm not going to fly over him, uh, but I am going to pull in just a little bit, tighten up. Uh, just kind of follow him up lake. He's moving pretty good for, for moving up or up lake. So I'm getting out there, I think about 250 some meters. And uh, so far, Leachy's performing pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy so far. Still doing real good on battery, so we can make it back here pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to go another couple minutes before I bring it back in. You can see, you can see the wake, There's these waves that are coming in. That's created by that freighter out there. So they just place a lot of water, so even though they're not moving quick, there's, there's quite a bit of waves. I'm getting up to about 400 meters. So I'm out there quite quite a bit with him. And I'm going to hold at about 400 meters. That's about where I feel comfortable. And we're going to watch him for a little bit longer. We're going to catch some, some, some a little bit, a little bit of time with him moving on out. And then we're going to bring it back. Because uh, I'm at six minutes now. I think I'm still doing pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll probably kick it back into sport mode. And I'll let it run down to about five minutes and then turn, turn it around and kick it into sport mode. And run it on back. Sport mode really, really moves it, moves it out. So... Now, for some reason, it just bumped it, and then now it's counting down again to five. So, uh, he's getting out there away. So, I tell you what, I'm going to turn this guy back around. The wind's picking up, so I'm going to have the wind on my side. So, I got the leechy bird facing back towards me. So, we're, we're into sport mode now. And we're going to sport mode it on back this way at least until we hit about 100 meters. So we're now coming back towards me. And you can see this this, this thing is moving. And, uh, you know, I'm already dropping. I'm already to almost uh, 100 meters now, so really good speed. So I'm now within 100 meters. And there I am. I'm up right over there. So real close to home. So I'm happy with this. I've had problems. I don't know if you guys remember with the P3 and the lychee. Uh, that's way though. 
with the P3 and Leachy uh, with the bird direction. However, I seem to be a lot. It seems to be better with the uh, with the Spark. So uh, again, let's move it back this way. Let's bring it down a little bit more. Let's see on background so I have stick orientation in the correct way. And let's back it up. Bring it down. And we're pretty good. So we're going to... Yeah, I know my battery's at 25%, but I'm almost landed. Leechy's just complaining. And let's... Yeah, this one's going to be a hard one. Stop recording. So, hopefully this worked. Hopefully we got some really good video out of this. Um, I, I tell you what, this is where uh, this uh, these legs really come in handy for like landing on here. Uh, the sand's not... Oh, excuse me, I'm getting all choked up. A little bit windy out here. You know, the sand's not the best, but uh, it seems to kind of keep it out. So, uh, anyways, I really recommend these legs. I've got them... Uh, over on the site. I'll have links for them below, but uh, I think great addition. So anyway, so let me know what you guys are thinking for lunch. Let me know what you thought of this flight, and uh, hey, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.